So this code represents a very common pattern that you will see when you need to examine all pairs of a list or any other type of sequence. So in general, given a sequence of some length, you will often see these two nested for loops. This is why I used that technical prompt, use two nested for loops, because I have seen that kind of pattern. Again, as you read more and more code, you will learn to recognize these patterns and you can incorporate them into your vocabulary when you use uh, technical prompting to tell your AI what to do. So this is the general pattern for every i that is a legal index and then for every j starting at one more than i, do something with the ith and jth item in that sequence. So the way I like to think about it is the outer for loop is maintaining a finger position in this list starting at the beginning. So I have my i finger initially pointing at index 0. That is the first value that this range is going to get me. And then I have another finger, the j finger, that is pointing at one location after the i finger, at least to begin with. And then what is going on is I am moving this j finger while keeping the i finger fixed. So it looks like this. For that value of i, look at all future values of j. And then, after you have examined all the values of j, only after this is done, then you go back and try the next value of i. So the i finger will now move to the next location. The j finger will start one place after that. And then we will examine all values after that. So you can see how this examines all pairs. It holds an index i fixed and examines all future indices. Then it moves the index i and it examines all future values. So it keeps these two fingers. Now, I would like you to explore on your own Python's iter tools module because that has some very powerful functions that will allow you to do not just pairs of items but triples of items and then not just combinations but permutations of items. So all ways in which you might want to examine uh, sets of items in a sequence, this module is available. Here is how you use it. We say from iter tools, import whichever functions you need. So read the documentation and in this case I only am using the combinations function. Now if I have this particular list, I can create all combinations of size 2 from the data in that list. And then I can simply say for every x and y in that pair, do something with x and y. Now if you want to uh, look at triples of items, you simply say for x, comma, y, comma, z in combinations data, comma, 3 and then it will produce all triples. In this module, you can also import other functions such as permutations. So then you can examine all permutations. This will include things like the i finger and the j finger, but also the other way around. So try and explore this uh, iter tools module. It has lots of very powerful functions.